Welcome to my study spaces vlog at the University of Bath. So library level two is quite an open study space. And as you can see here on the right, there are lots of individual computers that you can go and sit and log into your university um, ID. Um, here as well, there's an IT help desk, which is really helpful. You can go in if you have a problem with your laptop or even just problem with the software that we use at uni um, and get help. And also you can print documents. Um, it's really easy. There's loads of instructions here on the side that tell you how to um, print in color, print in black and white. Now, if you go down to the library level one, so the library level one has some very lovely art up on the walls. If you go take a closer look, you can see a little bit about what that's about. For example, showcasing the efforts of students to um, carry 60,000 books when the library was first developed. Now the study space itself is not known by many students at Bath. Um, often people don't come here. This is sort of 9, 10 a.m. on a Thursday morning. You can see maybe one or two students in the video. And that's because it opened only in 2019. Um, so many people do not know about this and it's a really, really great quiet study space to go to. Now on levels four and five of the library, you also have bookable study rooms with monitors, which you can plug your laptop into. And this is really great for group work and for presentations. Norwood House is another study space that many people don't know about. It also has bookable rooms Last secret study space is 6 West South, which is a really lovely, open, bright space for you to study. It also has places for you to plug your laptop in. The Virgil building is one of the University of Bath's off-campus study spaces, so you just need your library card to access this space. And it's really great if you fancy a day off-campus studying where you don't have any lectures. Also, the address is here on the left. The University of Bath website also has an entire list of bookable spaces on campus and off campus, which I have just displayed here. Thanks so much for watching.